Hello everyone, myself Simran from Team Cloudy ML and I welcome you all back to our YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well and preparing for your interviews. So, to help you all out, here we are bringing the second interview experience by a candidate for the job role of system engineer in the company Infosys. In this video, we are going to explain the complete hiring process of Infosys for the job role of system engineer. So let's begin. Infosys, the hiring, uh, the process had two rounds majorly. The first round was the aptitude round. Okay. So in aptitude round, uh, there were 10 logical questions, 15 numerical aptitude questions, 20 verbal questions, five pseudocode questions and four puzzle questions. And uh, as per the experience of the candidate, the time limit given to solve all these questions was ample and it was sufficient to solve all the questions in the given time. And for preparing these aptitude questions, you can majorly uh, refer to the websites like IndiaBix and Freshersworld.com wherein there are ample questions and they are more than enough to clear this round one. Okay, so keep preparing the questions from there. So now ahead, we are going to see some sample aptitude questions of all these five types. Okay, so note that they are not the exact questions, but they are sample questions. Like uh, they are similar questions to that uh, that have been asked in the interview. So this is the first aptitude question. It is of the uh, quantitative aptitude type. So the question says, the average age of a group of boys is 19. If the new average age after a boy joins is 21.28, find the age of new boy. So which means there was a group of six boys and the average of their ages was 19. But then a new boy joined in this group and after he joins, the average of the ages becomes 21.28. So you need to find the age of the new boy. There are four options given. You can select, you can solve this question and select any of those. Next, the question is of the logical aptitude type, wherein you have been given a series of numbers. Look at the series 7, 10, 8, 11, 9 and 12. What number should come next? So you need to predict the next number. You first need to find the pattern. Okay. So if you watch clearly, you have 7. Then after leaving one number, you have 8. After leaving one number, you have 9. Similarly, you have 10. Then after leaving one number, you have 11. After leaving one number, you have 12. So the number that will come in next would be the number after 9, which means 10. Okay, so such type of questions will be there in the aptitude. This is a verbal aptitude question. Find the correctly spelled words. So four words are given. You need to find out the word that has the correct spelling. Okay, so next you have the pseudocode question. In pseudocode types of question, you will be given a code in any programming language. And you need to find out the output of that code. Without any compilation, you have to perform the code and you need to find out the output. So this is the code and four options are given. You need to uh, analyze this question, uh, this code and find the solution to the output. This is a puzzle question and uh, you will be given a puzzle in a diagrammatic form. You need to find out the output of the puzzle. See which letter replaces the question mark. So this is a puzzle and here is a question mark. Some letters are arranged in this form and it, you need to find the letter that will replace this question mark. So you need to apply some logic to solve this puzzle and find out this question mark. So such type of aptitude questions will be there in the aptitude round. And uh, by solving certain sample questions uh, from various websites, you can easily clear this round. Okay, you just need to practice some 20 30 questions of each type okay, quantitative, logical, verbal, uh, pseudocode, and this puzzles. Okay, uh, when you solve the sample questions, 
uh, you'll find a pattern in each of the type of questions and similar formulas and everything is applied in other questions also so if you if you get to know the concept of a topic and its formula you can easily apply it to other questions as well so when you clear the round 1 the round 2 will take place round 2 is the technical interview round and uh, for system engineer the questions were asked mostly on oops concepts then dbms uh, basics of any programming language and then basics of computer fundamentals in basic computer fundamentals the topics like computer networking then os etc were covered so these are some of the sample questions like what are views in dbms then what is meant by entity relationship model explain the terms entity entity type entity set etc in dbms then they can ask you to perform various queries in sql what are the function of different queries and clauses then what is class and object explain encapsulation and polymorphism this was related to oops then next you have explain inheritance with an example what is meant by garbage collection in oops then uh, what is the use of printf and scanf functions what is recursion in c these were the c questions sample c questions then explain different types of uh, different data types in python and what do you mean by network topology explain the different layers of the osi model the question 11 and 12 were based on uh, the computer networking many such questions can be asked by the interviewer based on these given topics then what is difference between main memory and secondary memory what is thread in os okay so these were some of the sample questions uh, uh, i suggest to prepare uh, not much lengthy answers but point to point answers and also include examples when you uh, give the answer okay and uh, you need to prepare the basics of all the computer fundamentals or all the subjects that you have covered in your engineering so the basics are also enough and whatever language you know be proficient in that language the basics of that language and also some of the intermediate topics as well so this these were some of the round 2 questions and don't rely completely on these questions okay prepare for yourself as much as you can these were just the sample questions similar type of questions will be asked in the interview but not exact okay so yes the, this was the uh, interview experience in infosys company for the job role of system engineer so keep preparing well and all the best thank you